I'm Michael Otremba, a recipient of the 2012 Innovative Learning Through an Electronic Theses and Dissertation Award. I'm very honored to receive this award and I wish I could be in Lima, Peru with you all at the symposium to share with you my gratitude in person. But as I cannot, I'm making this video to um, say all my thank yous as well as to tell you a little bit more about my thesis. Um, in particular, the film I made as part of it uh, called Tuero the Road to Health, um, which I made um, throughout my time at medical school. Uh, the best place to start, I guess, would be with the librarians that helped me out so much uh, throughout this whole project and process. Um, Charlie Greenberg, uh, of course, I could have never uh, received this award without his nomination, so um, I'm deeply indebted to him for this. Um, and then also, in particular, my personal librarian at Yale, Mark Gentry, who had helped me out throughout my entire you know, career um, at, at medical school from you know, the day that I began till the day that I graduated. Mark was always there uh, helping me with everything uh, along the way, especially for my thesis. Um, and then this film, of course, and my whole project uh, could never have been done without my, the mentorship of my advisor, uh, Dr. Gretchen Berlin, um, as well as the support from uh, the research office at the Yale School of Medicine, uh, Dr. Forrest, um, and as well as uh, the support from uh, Dean Angoff, who uh, is the head of our student affairs um, at the, uh, the School of Medicine at Yale, um, and a number of other faculty, um, such as Dr. Tom Duffy and um, Professor uh, John Warner and Kaveh Kushnud, who also were members of my thesis committee. Um, so I just want to say thank you to all of them first. Uh, now to tell you a little bit more about my, my thesis. I chose to do a documentary film because I realized that uh, after spending several years researching the topic of healthcare and human rights in Uganda, that I was having a difficult time trying to explain it to others, what the significance was for the average citizen in Uganda to have healthcare be a human right. And it was because I wanted to explore this topic um, and, and to show the lives of, of these people who are supposed to have this, this right be, be meaningful to them that I chose to make a documentary film. M my film is about the right to health care in Uganda and the struggles of patients to access essential medical care as well as the challenges that uh, Ugandan physicians have in, in trying to provide their, um, their patients with health care. When I went to Uganda to make the film, I had learned from the Uganda Human Rights Commission the story of Esther Ayugi, a woman who had struggled for, for several years with a gynecological problem and required a hysterectomy. When she went to have the procedure done, she couldn't afford the medical bills that she had generated. And as a result, the physician uh, detained her, basically imp imprisoning her in his clinic until her family and, um, could bail her out. And after she was in the clinic for three months, a radio journalist had learned of her story and put it on the radio and, and basically shamed the physician into releasing her. And it was that story that, uh, that I tell to sort of examine what is, what is happening in Uganda where the government has said it's going to provide its citizens with access to uh, essential medicines. And, and as it's failing to do so, you find patients who are forced to go find health care in a private, private facilities that they can't afford. Um, and you find physicians who are also left in, in a position where they are being asked to take on patients who can't afford the care that, that they're providing. And in, in so doing, they, they wind up violating one set of rights in order to protect another. You see that they are imprisoning these patients in order to provide them with health care that needs to be paid for. Thank you again for honoring my, uh, my work with this wonderful award. I hope my thesis will, uh, will continue to be a tool for uh, advocacy and, and to help continue the dialogue um, globally about health care as a human right. Um, and I also hope that uh, future uh, theses can, uh, can learn something from this about using film in medicine and combining the two together. Um, and, uh, and yeah. So thank you again.